Hey, Manny Medina here. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to install Mavic on an Amazon AWS hosting account. Okay. The reason why you would want to install Mavic on Amazon is because Amazon is the number one hosting account, period. It can get a little bit confusing, but that's why I am creating this tutorial for you. Okay. So once you create your Amazon account, you're going to have to verify it with a credit card and you're going to have to verify a phone number. So once you do this, uh, I am going to assume you have done that already and we're going to start with the tutorial. Okay. So once you verify your account, you're going to come to the dashboard here. You're going to log in, come to the dashboard and to start your install, we're going to go to the EC2 option here. I know there are a lot of options and Amazon can get a little bit confusing, but I'm going to take you step by step. So we go to EC2 and once we're here, you shouldn't have, if your account is new, you shouldn't have any instances running or anything. Everything should say zero, but we're going to go and install an AMI. An AMI is basically an, what do we call an image. And that is something that has someone basically built a template of actions to take to install a certain software. What that means to you is that we you have the ability to install an image of the Mavic software. That means you're going to be able to install Mavic with just one click. Okay. So you're going to go to the AWS marketplace and on the search bar, we're going to type for Mavic. Now you're going to have several options to choose from, but I recommend using Binami for the simple reason that it's free. Every other option does have a cost to it. So I recommend using Bitnami. Uh, the reason why I usually some, I never use them. I want to clarify this, but usually the reason why some of these options charge is because they offer support. Again, I have never used them, so I cannot recommend them. I recommend Mawek because it's free and easy to install and they have really good documentation in case uh, you run into some problems. So here, we're just going to continue to subscribe. And here, there's nothing else for us to see here. Just continue and continue. Okay, so here, here you do have to choose something uh, we're going to configure a little bit of the options here. Here you can choose the region. No, uh, something that is unique about Amazon is that they allow you to choose where your website or your software is running. Like in basically from what part of the world is your website going to load from? So if you have a local business, for example, in the, on the East coast, of the United States. Well, you want to run your website on a server that is on the East Coast. That in, in that way, your customers are going to have a faster page load. So on the region, you're going to leave everything as it is on for the fulfillment option and software version, just leave it as it is. On the region, you're going to change it to whatever is more appropriate to you. Now I want you to take into account that different servers do offer or sever different servers do have a different price. They do have a different cost, but if your account is new, then you're usually in most of the cases, you're going to have one full year of free hosting. And I'm going to show you exactly how to take advantage of that. So if you have a, brand new Amazon account, uh, uh, then you're going to have one full year of hosting. And that's another reason why we use Amazon. 
So I'm going to leave it as the US East Coast because I just have experience using that server. It's really good. And yeah, it's just, it's just appropriate. But if you live outside of the US and you're targeting people in your country, then choose the closest country that is to you. Okay, so once you choose your region, just continue to launch. And on this page, you're going to leave the first option as it is, launch from website. On the second option, EC2 instance type, you're going to select T2 micro. Now, this means that every option here is a different type of server. The lower you go down here, the bigger the server, the more powerful, the more RAM, the more memory it is. But for an easy, for a Mavic instance that we have, the free T2 micro version, that is the second option, uh, is really good enough for us. And the reason why we go for T2 instead of, I mean, T2 micro instead of T2 nano is because T2 micro is usually free. If you have a, an account, what I was telling you earlier that Amazon offers you one full year of free hosting, it's usually on this instance type, the T2 dot micro. So you select that. And once you select it, you can even see that it tells you how much memory and CPU power it has. So everything else, we're going to leave VPC settings as it is, subnet settings as it is, security group settings, select a security group. Uh, you're going to select default. You're probably not going to have any of these two. So just select default or leave it as it is if default is not there. And key pair settings. For key pair settings, you can see my default is SEO key that, and that's only because I already have something else running inside Amazon. Your, if you have a new account, you should probably see this. So you're going to have to create a new key pair. A key pair basically means that instead of using a password to access your server files, you're using a key file and they call it key pair inside Amazon. So you can see here, I already have one, but I'm going to create another one just for demonstration purposes. So you're going to click, click create key pair and you're going to name this key pair anything. It, the name doesn't really matter. In this case, I'm going to name it Mawic because it's the key file that I'm going to use for this Mawic instance. So you once you click create, you can see that it was downloaded automatically to your to your local PC. Okay. So I'm going to open the folder where it was saved. And you can see it's right here. Okay. So now we go back to this page and now you're going to be able to click here, the refresh icon, and now you're going to see your key, new key pair right there. Okay. Um, launch. Okay. So we actually, so this doesn't really matter what you select here. So just select the first option. Okay. And you're going to click launch. Okay, so we have success, successfully deployed the EC2 instance. And I'm, I'm not really sure what this means. Okay. So you're going to come here. review and launch as I was telling you here it's telling you that the t2 that micro instance thus it, it is included on the free tier for some reason Amazon doesn't include the, the cheapest version 
but like I said, you're going to have one full year of this instance for free. So you, you, so you just have to click review and launch because you have already configured everything else and just click launch. Yes, here, select an existing key pair. Yes, acknowledge, launch instance. So now that it's launching, we're only going to have to wait a little bit. It shouldn't take that long. Okay, so it seems it was launched. Okay, so we go, I'm going to click on view instance and you can see here it is actually the one that is being created. If you have a brand new account, you should only have one line here and it should have this loading icon. You can see it has the state of pending because the instance is just being created right now. So we're going to wait for it. Okay, now it's fully running. The first thing that I want you to do is give it a name just in case. Like just, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to do this, but I like to give it a name just in case that I run any other instance or I have anything else running on the Amazon hosting so I don't get lost or confused. Mawek D development. Okay, it didn't say. So Mawek development. Okay. So now that we have we have our Mawek instance running, right? So to access it right now, we haven't connected that domain name, but we can still access it via the public IP. So I want you to copy these numbers that are right here. And I'm going to close this window. And you're going to open a new window and paste the IP address. And just, this is, a, so just click enter and it's going to take you to the Mavic instance. So it redirects you to the login page. In the coming videos, I'm going to be showing you how to change the IP address so that Mavic loads from a specific domain that you have on your, uh, that you have, okay? So you can see it's running here. So to log in, Actually, before I show you how to log in or how to get the credentials, because you're probably asking yourself, well, I installed it, but it's asking me to log in. So where do I get the, the, login, uh, the login credentials from? I'm gonna be showing you that later. First, I'm going to show you, actually, I'm going to create a separate video for this and on the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to modify some of the settings on the Mavic instance so that you, we don't run into memory problems in the future and that we set up completely Mavic from the get-go. It is going to be a little bit difficult. It, is, it might make you a little bit uncomfortable because we're going to be leading we're going to be changing some of the settings without a user interface. But don't worry, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do it. And it's going to be on the next video. Okay.